Alright, well welcome back to another Hollow Knight stream, everybody. 110% in the God Home. We're continuing with the bonus boss rush. I'm not sure if we'll be doing the fourth Pantheon, but I'll at least continue doing the individual fights. I'll at least give the fourth Pantheon the good old Honest College try, especially if we can actually beat Nightmare Grimm's rematch without too much trouble. Then I think that would be very nice. Also, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unequip Quick Slash and focus on something else. <laughs> no Big Brother fight today? We'll see, we'll see. Okay, if I've got five open slots, Quick Focus is pretty good. Quick Focus and probably Shape of Wound. Those two combined would be great. So would the Balder Shell. I always forget this one even exists, where it transforms your Vengeful Spirit into a horde of baby flukes. That one sounds so weird. Spell Twister reduces the soul of casting spells, but it doesn't apply to healing, unfortunately. Hmm... <laughs> Glowing Womb. I mean... Eh. Nah, we'll try Shape of... Because mm. there were several fights I put aside because I had the wrong badge set up. Ooh, like the Soul Master. Because Quick Slash ain't gonna be very good. Equip the Stink Charm and the Little Fairy one. Okay. Oh, yeah. That makes healing a lot safer. And again, because he teleports pretty much every time after I hit him, Quick Slash ain't gonna be that helpful. Ouch. Dude, I forgot how good fast healing is. The fast healing when you can move as well. Oh my gosh, that's like ultimate combo. Okay. Teleporting McGee is not happy. I do miss the Soul Catcher, though. Oh wait, I forgot, I don't get Soul in this fight for some reason. Alright, so now the second phase occurs. Ha oh, ha ha, so funny. Ouch. Oh, he's not breaking the floor this time. That's weird. There we go. No problem. All right, that's a good start. First try, the Super Soul guy. Okay, so you said equip the Stink Charm and the Fairy one. So Stink Charm is that one. What's the Fairy one again? I don't know which one you're talking about when you say the fairy one. Are you talking glowing womb? 
It's right next to the sink charm. Okay. The little Hollow Knight guys are stinky as well. Oh, that's what they are. They're poop fairies. Very, very, very amusing. Quick focus. Let's try Sharp Shadow. People keep recommending it to me. And I feel like if we've got... If we have fast healing, we don't need move around while healing as well. So, Ascended Soul Tyrant. What could go wrong? A lot. Dude. Dude. Why do I have no soul? Well, that didn't last long. So I apparently have no soul for the fight, even though I entered with full soul. And I don't get soul from attacking him, so... Alright, I see how it is. If that's the case, we're not using that. Dream Shield could be nice, actually. Might try the Dream Shield out. Oh, I definitely want the low HP one, though. Because I have a feeling we'll be at low HP for a while. For one. I mean, we probably are going to go with... Nah, Steady Body wouldn't be that good, though. Let's try Dream Shield. Soul Master and Tyrant give you soul as normal? It didn't look like it. At least for... The, it did not look like it for the Soul Master. <laughs> hey, Mobius. Working great already. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I'm doing well, Mobius. How are you doing today? I think that was me that drew the Mobius strip. How? This fight is nasty. Whoa. Okay, maybe a different setup is needed. If I do get soul from this fight, then I think it is worth having the quick focus. That sound nasty! <laughs> Ouch. Okay, this attack... There's definitely a potential for openings there. I just need to be patient. Okay. The opposite of what I what I'm being right now.
Darn it! There's still too much end lag at the end of healing. Okay, that was very dumb. <laughs> The soul tyrant. <laughs> okay. I gotta figure out how to deal with that. I was not expecting you to do that. Definitely a tougher fight. <laughs> Darn it, I thought I could get through that. I want to heal in increments of two so my low health pa attack boost will kick in. I can't believe I got through that. Oh, I didn't. That's why. Whoops. Oops, I did it again. I do like the low health Mega Rush, but... At the same time, it might not be the best idea for this fight. If we fight this guy in the fourth Pantheon as well, which I'm sure we will, that's going to be rough. This guy is formidable. Ow, that wasn't supposed to happen. That movement of his is the best, when he just kind of moves towards you. Not to say that it's still not dangerous, of course. Uh-oh. I don't know how to evade this attack and attack him at the same time. Which is a bit of a problem. But hey, I'm getting practice for the Pantheon. Well. That was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should get spider friends. I don't think the spider friends are going to be very useful in the uh, god home, to be honest. It's sad, but true. I do like the soul catcher, just giving myself more soul. I'm going to try that, and maybe I'll try more soul attacks. Ow! It can be hard when he teleports to the end to be like, is he going to dash at me or launch one of those projectiles at me?
Oh. And he can pull a Zoat and just change where he is in midair. Rats. That's going to be a toughie. Okay. There we go. You can only hit him once. At least as far as I can tell. And I may have gotten very lucky when I hit him. No, I think I just got lucky when I didn't get hit by him. Is there DLC where you can play as Redneck Hollow Knight? From Hardcardic Phone Prompts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this teleport spam. Ouch. Okay, no, I don't think Soul Eater is the way to go. I wasn't getting as much soul as I was expecting. Well, shoot. What's the missing piece of the puzzle here? I could go back to the low health, but I don't, I don't think that's the way to do it. What about the bee charm? I don't think the bee charm is going to be... A, it takes four, and it often, after a while it'll only re restore your HP when you're at one HP, which will never happen in that fight. Maybe Balder Shell? I'll try Shape of Un. I'll try the super healing for this guy as well. This fight also might give us a weird gimmick after a while that I'm not expecting because it is the Ascended. Like maybe in his second phase there's no floor because that's their favorite thing to do. Okay. You gotta time it really well, but you can, like, a jump attack him, and then, like, land in between those uh, soul sphere fans. <gasps> like that. Oh, and you can do it twice. Okay. Oh, also, I can do charge attacks. If they would actually charge. Fights like this, nail arts actually might be the way to go. <sighs> Ouch. Oh, darn it. I always forget about Nail Arts because they're so useless in like 99% of the battles. But then that 1%, they can actually be good. What's the best charm for this fight? Definitely the Compass. How did he hit me but I didn't hit him?
Well, that didn't last long. Yeah, double damage on this fight is, uh, this is a toughie. Oh man, that feels great when you can pull off that maneuver. Oh, and now you actually do the dash when I'm not expecting I see how it is. don't get a lot of soul for this fight. <laughs> the problem is if he teleports away from you, like, he could dash at you or he could shoot the energy blast at you. And the problem is, like, if you jump for the energy, bl energy blast, it's going to hit you. But if you don't jump for the dash attack, then that's going to hit you. Darn it. Oof. Yeah, this this is a tough one. No doubt about that. We're off to a great start. How does one do the ba the boss battles without taking damage? Very carefully. I'm not doing too badly thus far. Playing it very safe and by the books, but rats had to say it. Darn it! Yep, nail art's just not worth it. You're better off spending your time on healing. And we haven't even reached the second form yet. Ugh. Cool, first phase down. Darn it. Was not ready for that. B. 
No! My invincibility frames wore off just at the wrong time. Alright, we can do this, though. This fight is absolutely fair, no question. I, and I like that. I like this kind of fight. It's very fair, but still very tough. Oh yeah. Darn it. Really good music for this fight, too. It's like a dark remix of the Soul Sanctum theme. Okay. Sure, just teleport on top of me. It's not like I was wanting to do anything there. What? Wait, how are you supposed to get out of the way of that, then? My dash isn't long enough. I guess I gotta dash in the air to escape from the ground tremor. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so risky, but it feels so good. Okay, I, I can't believe how lucky I got at that point. <laughs> Again, how did he hit me, but I didn't hit him? Okay. Yeah. Ugh! <sighs> 
Yay! Aren't you tired yet? Good lord. Oh, come on! I don't like that last phase. Especially since you have to go for the first phase just to fight it again. Your nail arts really should charge faster. That would make them slightly viable. There we go, I was wondering when that was going to happen. Actually, is not that bad once you get the rhythm of it down. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's right. He can be taught. Watcher Knight. Yuck. Okay. For Watcher Knight, I actually will equip the uh, Sharp Shadow. I believe it warrants it. Oh, I love it when they can just spawn right on top of you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't like this fight at all. There's too many of them. Also starting to think Quick Slash actually might be worth it on this fight. When I say he spawned on top of me, I mean he landed on top of me and there was nothing I could have done to prevent him from doing so. Look how much longer it's taking me to get rid of the Watcher Knights. How the heck did you reach me? <laughs> mm, don't like this. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I need Quick Slash for that fight. It kills them so much faster, so... I'm gonna actually unequip Mark of Pride so I can get Quick Slash. I do like being able to dash through them with Sharp Shadow. That is actually nice. Chonk or no? That's such a vague question. Are you asking me if these guys are Chonk or if I like Chonk? I don't know how I avoided damage there, but all right. There's no time to heal. As soon as you heal, one of them is just going to instantly dash into you. Well, there was kind of no way out of that one. Question if they are Chonk. They're stout. Oh yeah, I do have spell attacks. I always forget about that fundamental part of the, f <laughs> of the game. Oh yeah, I can use spells to attack. on you. Look, like, the instant I start healing, they're like, time to roll!
No, we'll keep trying it with this badge set up. Wait, what? You're not supposed to pinball off the wall. What the heck? You... Okay. They're actively breaking the rules of the fight to hit me. I have never seen them pinball off the wall that far away, though. Normally they just stop at the wall. Occasionally they pinball a little bit away, but then that time he pinballed really far away just so he would hit me. I pretended like I was gonna heal, but then I didn't because I knew he was going to attack, uh, do the stupid ball roll move if he did. I really am missing the extra range I get on the super big nail, though, so. I really like the Mark of Pride, especially for this fight, so I can outrange them. Ah, uh, good old Shadow Dash. Only working when it actually feels like it. Yeah, this fight sucks. This is not a fun fight.
Also, you love how there's three Watcher Knights here, but you actually have to fight, like, 12 of them. For no reason. How was he not dead? I hit him like 20 times. Very glad that that Shadow Strike killed him. Stupid cheap pinball careening that doesn't make sense and is unpredictable. Oh look, I heal and then he does the rolling move again. I better not have to fight these guys in the fourth Pantheon, because, dear lord, they never end. The first time I fought these guys, didn't I only have to fight, like, five of them? I say only, as if that's a reasonable number. Now I'm fighting, like, literally twelve of them, and they're still not dying. Why can't all of them be that easy? I'm super paranoid about this pinball careening.
my gosh, is he the last one? Please be the last one. Yes! <sighs> yep, yeah, that fight stinks. Don't like it. Oh, okay. That's right. He's gonna be a delight. That guy's another one of those fights where Quick Slash ain't gonna be good. Oops, I did it again. I think for this next fight, the Balder Shell might be useful. Because it's Ascended Zero. How is it already an hour into the stream? Oh, I hate I hate the lack of platforms in this fight. It's like the Balder shell just is completely protecting me from these. Darn. Uh, yes, there is a version of the Ocarina Rando that can insta-kill you. Like, sometimes the knives seem to just pass through the balder shell, but not actually hurt me. I did not touch the bottom of the stage. Like, right there. I won't complain, because I'll get- I'll take every advantage I can get, yuck. Wow, if you even get close to the bottom of the screen, it's just like, you die. That's very dumb. Wish I got more soul in this fight, because apparently the Balder Shell is the key to surviving. Okay, this first phase actually isn't too bad. You just have to know how to lure his daggers. A dog on it? Let me double jump to get back on. Thank you for stopping before you actually hit me. Ouch. Sandwiched. Is the Balder Shell doing anything? Like... Oh wait, he's already dead? Oh, that actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> But unfortunately, we can't get too cocky, Star Fox, because this guy still stinks. Ascended Markov. And his cheap shield. Yeah, I don't like this fight. Okay, we 
don't need Balder Shell for this. I'm going to say no to the Mark of Pride as well, because even for funny factor, I'm going to counter his Dream Shield with my Dream Shield. That'll show him. I feel like if, I, if I'm going to try to heal myself, then Fury of the Fall... Spider friends! It's been so long. Sp this is probably an absolutely terrible combo. But it's not, it's not about money, it's about sending a message. Uh oh. Ow! Rude! No! I don't know why I picked the spider friends. They're not gonna do squat. Especially in a fight like this where it's air-based and they, they have to be on the ground. <laughs> I don't think... The Dream Shield? I'm not sure if that was actually working, but I'll keep it for now. Uh, no point in Shape of Un, because there's nowhere to go. Let's get Spell Twister. Maybe offensive... Well, that's actually probably a dumb idea, because we don't get much soul in this fight, because we aren't really able to hit him all that much. So much for the nail arts. Tuck on it, Hollow Knight constantly getting stuck under the platforms. And now he's throwing stuff in places where he thinks I'm gonna run to. That's that's the worst. Okay, no. My shield is honestly kind of distracting me. I'm mistaking it for his shield. I'm gonna try that! Unleash Nail Arts faster. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. What if we use that in combination with the Quick Focus? <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try those two together. Maybe I'll heal at the regular rate, but it'll heal two. And four less. Which would be great! Wow! This is going terribly. I don't even... I didn't even have, to have enough to heal myself once. What the heck? Does this actually even charge the nail arts faster? Oh yeah, it does. But there's still that wind-up of like, you need to hold the button for two seconds before we realize that you're trying to use the nail art. I hate this fight. This fight stinks. Who thought this was a good fight? Again, if you're trying to design a boss fight, always go back to the fact, is it fun? That should be the first and foremost. Unless you're trying to design like an unwinnable boss fight, but... Okay, you're literally spawning stuff inside the wall that you cannot possibly see. Better heal me a lot. 
Okay, so I can heal at a normal rate, and it heals double for... Okay. <sighs> well, then those people suck. Shots fired. How does he always get stuck under the platform? Oh great, there was nowhere I could go to avoid that. Oh great, he spawned stuff on me! Yay! Alright, screw this. I'm just gonna... Maximum range. We'll get that. And yeah, we'll get Nailmaster's Glory. Why not? I want max range. So I can outrange his freaking shield. Curse you! I'm, I'm saying screw healing in this fight. Forget healing. It's not like you even can heal reliably in this fight, because he just spawns stuff to immediately go after you. How does he... There is no reason he should be getting stuck under the platforms as much, but he always does. Apparently, like, the instant you fall below the line of the platforms, there is no going back up. Even though a wall jump and a double jump exists. It's also annoying because, like, the hitbox for which he can damage you extends way, way higher up than the hitbox which you can actually hit him. Like, his horns can absolutely damage you, but if you hit his horns, nothing happens. Wow, it ate my double jump. Wow, it ate my double jump. If this guy, if Ascended, this guy appears in the Pantheon. Goodbye. He keeps eating my double jump. Okay, I have an idea.
I have an idea. It's a badge I have never equipped before. But Nailmaster's Glory ain't doing squat. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Oh, that costs two. Darn it. That shouldn't cost two. That should only cost one. Why does that one take two? That's not a very good badge. Wow. He keeps spawning them on me when... right as my invincibility frames run out. Yeah, but I've gotten him to phase two before. <laughs> Oh, dog curse you! The fact that he can make those spawn, like, completely outside of the arena that you can't possibly see them, and then just shoot them right at you is very stupid. Also, I feel like once you enter phase two, there's no way to avoid taking damage. There's, there's like, base, there's no room to maneuver, and too much stuff spawns in too short of a time. And he makes- he literally makes those spawn at such a perfect rate that you cannot avoid. That, like, right as soon as your invulnerability frames wear out, he hits you with another one. No, do not bring back Sauron. Why can I not wall jump up that? It's a wall, is it not? So I can jump up it. But apparently not. So basically you just, you can't wall jump in this fight is what I'm getting out of this. Because every wall I've gone to, like, at least relatively low down, it's just like, no, no, you can't wall jump up that.
Okay, one, when you get hit one time, he combos you. See if heavy blow will do what I hope it does. I guess that knocks him farther away, but not really. It's so unfair that he can hold his shield in one place and I can't. Ah, I dashed though. Yeah, one, as soon as he pulls out that second shield, it's basically impossible to hit him. And, like, he spawns those stupid spears at twice the rate, so you have no breathing room. Also, I believe he stops using the attack where he makes his shields extend outwards, where he stops the spears. So he's just like, nope, you gotta deal with the spears. Sauron doesn't deserve to be brought back. He was not a nice person. Look at that! Like, that spawned out of the arena, but then just appeared out of nowhere to hit me. And it moves so fast, you cannot predict that in time. That's so unfair. If you can corner him like that, though, that that special mail art actually is great. Not what I wanted to happen. Oh, yeah! Why will it not let me wall jump up that? I was sticking to the wall. This is... No wonder I keep getting stuck under the platforms, because it's just not letting me wall jump in this fight. Also, I hate how if you use the, the special nail art, you don't get a double jump. Never. <sighs> 
Wow! Wow! Did you see that butt and what he did with the stupid attack combo? The shield was literally always in my way. It is very frustrating when he does that shield sphere attack in the center of the room, so there's nowhere to escape it. Good night, DX. Man, so many. A lot. Most of the ascended fights are pretty good, and then every once in a while, you get one like this that's just hot garbage start to finish. That nobody play tested. Or if they did, they're like, that was the most miserable experience of my life. Cool, we'll keep it exactly as it is. It's like that's not what you should have done with that feedback. I don't need any calming tea. It really feels like I have less invincibility frames in this fight. It feels like my the amount of invincibility frames I get when I get hit gets cut in half in this fight. Look! Oh, look, he's doing that in the middle of the course again. Oh, he does still do this attack when he has two shields. I mean, it's not like you really get any opportunities to attack him during that phase, because again, his two shields protect him pretty much perfectly, and you can't get close to him and attack him without getting hit by one of his needles. I was doing so well! And it didn't let me know that I was at low HP. I feel like in that fight, you... You really just have to rely on getting lucky with his patterns at the end. I... 
and you have to rely on him not being a butt, which you can't do, because he's always a butt. I really can't believe there are people who can actually do this fight consistently. I feel like this fight is just a pile of hot trash. Like, I feel like there's like five different annoying things going on in this fight. And, like, it's like, choose three, and they're like, no, we're not choosing three, we're choosing all five. Like, if you chose just three of them, then maybe you could have an okay fight. But they chose every single one. Bill, my. That one spawned literally on top of me. Do I literally just, like, have to save up my soul for the end part and only use soul attacks and hope that's enough to defeat him? The fact that the shield rotates literally whenever he wants, and he can move around means that, like, the shield in a very short amount of time can just be like, oh, now I'm on top of you. The recommended way to beat him is to use soul all at the end. Great. Maybe if I can use the, like, the souls of the Tormented on top of him right at the end. Like, I feel, I feel like it is impossible to hit him quickly and reliably and dodge all of his stuff at the same time. I think that's just, it's not possible to do all of it. No, like, look at that. The entire, the entire top right corner of the map was filled to the brim of projectiles. If you were over there, there was nowhere you can go to escape it. But the Shriek can hit him many, many times. Is this the most annoying boss in the game? Possibly.
If he moves directly below you on the platform, you are so screwed. Because he can damage you, but you can't damage him. Yep, that was not good. Well, as you can see, at this point in the game, I can beat the Lost Kin pretty easily. No. Dog, run, you stupid game! And you're like, oh, you're stuck under the platforms, you were screwed! <laughs> Alright, I'm unequipping Heavy Blow, because I don't think that's really going to be worth it. Darn it, of course. Oh, Spell Twister! This might be the one for Spell Twister. The reason Lost Kin is so infamous for me is because of the first time I fought him, which is the time the game is like, you should fight him. You have, like, nothing. Okay, sometimes in this fight, you get so unlucky and you are screwed. Like, I just got comboed, like, eight times in a row. Oh, look! I got stuck under the platform again! Yay! This is fair, balanced, fun, and informative. Actually, no. No, you know what? N you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I think the only real strategy for this fight... ...is get to the end... And hope you can kill him before he kills you. You gotta hope you can corner him, and then just be a choo -choo 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 when you're at, like, incred insane power. That's the only way this is gonna happen. Bill, my. Would you please heal? You healed, but it was too little too late. Okay, he decided to be a butt and fly over to where I started and go underneath me. That's which is literally the worst possible pattern he can get. What? Uh uh. I was out of reach of that. This guy is being such a butt! Okay, hang on. I need to survive and be able to heal myself again by one. Ooh, or by free. Yes, yes. Okay. I hate this, 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 I hate this so much! Bill, 
Yes! Die! 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 I'm never doing that fight again! What the F? <laughs> the F stands for fudge. That fight can go rot in the garbage forever. Well, I'm not ending the stream on that note. I'm not ending the stream on a sour note like that. We're gonna play another fight. Uh, we'll do quick slash and... I like, I like being able to move. All right, this is... Oh, Paint Master Shio. Yeah, this this guy's a lot more fun. We'll keep going. Hey, dude. So I don't remember what all this fight entail. Okay. That's right. This, this guy's not too bad. We just need to know his movements before he does each of the fights, and this should be fine. Hey, dude. I will bow to you, because you are worthy of it. Honestly, it's his blue attack that's the most annoying. Cuz the blue one the blue one comes out of nowhere. Nice one, dude. See, see when he when this guy takes me down, I have to I have to respect it a bit. Okay, well, I think to make this fight a little easier, Mega Rush. I do like Mega Rush a lot. But then again, I also like just dishing out insane amounts of damage with Quick Slash. And that helps in that regard. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I want to learn to paint too. I wish I knew... I wish there was more warning when he was going to do his blue attack. That's the only one that seems a little unfair. go. See? Mega Rush for the win.
Thank you, dude. That was a fun fight. I like the colorful fights. Oh yeah, this dude. This one is empty. The empty god stands at, pan at a Pantheon's peak. Oh no! So the final boss fight of the fourth Pantheon is actually going to be this thing. Hopefully that means it's not going to be Nightmare King Grim. Nail Sage? Sly! <laughs> Sly! You gotta beat the Nail Sage. Please don't take away the floor from me. Okay, that guy's going to be problematic. Let's unequip Quick Slash. Give ourselves the really long nail. <laughs> and there's, I think, only Grim after that. Okay, we don't need Quick Slash. I'll keep Fury of the Fallen. Let's see, let's add a long nail in there. And Nail Master's Glory, because we might actually use some nail arts here. Well, the last Kin fight literally took like a full two hour stream to beat. Did you take away my Nail Master charge? Work for me, Shadow Dash. <laughs> well, of course, he would do the one attack that he could do in order to kill me. It wouldn't be impossible, but it would be so difficult that I would ha elicit no joy in playing it. Which describes most of the fights on. Shadow Dash, would you please actually work like you're supposed to? So far above you, that should not have hit. Well, that didn't work. He cornered me immediately. The Great Nail Sage Sly!
keep forgetting it as the backslash after that. Alright, let's try this again. Whoops! Man, I'm out of practice for this, even though it, I fought this guy literally two days ago. At least the, the nice thing is Ascended difficulty for this guy doesn't seem that bad. It literally just seems like it's the classic you take. I am so sick of my Shadow Dash just not working when it should. I'm also sick of that guy hits stupidly glitchy hitboxes. Shadow Dash never, ever works when I'm trying to dash through that. Like, I literally need Shadow Dash to work to do avoid that, and it never works. There, that time it worked. Take that, Grover. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? You're dealing with Super Grover. Wow, that time you went high up in the air. Sorry, acrobatics will not impress me here. So we can't fight that. And I think Grim is the last one. I think Grim is literally the last one. Well, I don't know if we can do Nightmare King Grim tonight, but we can at least do regular Grim. This should be fine. Oh, wait, nope. We always bow. Yes, please keep doing that attack. Ouch. That was a mistake. This attack. Oh 
like it when he does that move and gives us. Oh, I parried that. I can't. I don't believe it. Alright, this seems to be going pretty well. Grim's one of those fights I think with enough practice I could potentially do the Radiant version. This attack might prove troublesome though. Oh yeah, that wasn't so bad. Again, I think that is still my favorite fight in the game. It's such an elegant dance. Yes, I'm aware I have low battery. Thank you. I think we did everything on the bottom floor, right? Not this, because we can't do the second one of those. Nor the second one of the Mantis Lords. Oh, and I didn't do that guy! That's right! Okay. Okay, I think we can, I think we can beat him up. We don't need him all in there. We don't need Nail Master's glory. Uh, for this fight against... What's-his-face? I like Quick Slash. Or no, I actually think this will be a job for Sharp Shadow, so I can dash through him more easily. No! That, I did not select a tuned! I'm just gonna die. Oh, that's right, this is the fight where you take extra damage even on the regular difficulty. So this one, maybe Quick Slash is not the best for this fight. Yeah, this actually might... Mm, man. Quick Slash might not be the way to go on this fight, because you don't want to be right next to him. This guy is insane! You can quick slash him a bunch at the beginning, but... Yikes, this fight is also nasty. There's so much going on, and you die so fast. I also can't remember how much HP he has, but I think it's kind of a lot. Ouch. Ow, what the butts? This guy is ridiculous. This 
So I think this fight's going to amount to avoid him from a distance, and then when he jumps towards you, dash behind him. Oh, and you get, like, no soul in this fight, either. <gasps> okay, I have the- I have the strategy down. This fight's actually not that bad. You just gotta know the strategy. And yeah, this is a fight that Quick Slash actually is very good. You just can't get right next to him in Quick Slash constantly. Gotta be smart about it. Ouch. surprised I didn't take a hit there. Ah, okay. Ouch. Okay, we can do this fight, though. This fight should be pretty manageable. It's not gonna be, like, easy, but it's gonna be the good kind of challenging. Gotta be very in tune with his movements. And you gotta hope stuff doesn't appear right above you. Like that. And like that. And like literally all of that. Okay. Wow. That was extremely unlucky with the stuff that spawned above. Sharp Shadow is helping for this as well. Ouch. And is this the end? actually kind of fun. Well, there we go. See? That worked out. Alright, I know we're running late, but I feel like we lost an hour of the stream just to a dumb fight. So, before we finish off, I'm not going to finish him tonight. But I want to at least challenge Nightmare Keen Grim to a rematch. I think this setup will be nice. So, this will be another fight that we die extremely fast to. <laughs> Thank you.
Are we gonna get the full-on title again? No, or not quite. Well, yeah, that lasted about as long as I thought. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this strat as well. I forget how to deal with that. I also forgot about this attack entirely. You have a little secret to tell me about. I mean, if you're tantalizing me with it now, you may as well say it now. Yeah, I saw you corrected the stream. I just was making a really dumb joke. There's a secret in the ceiling above Grimm's statue. Alright, I'm getting in I'm getting back into the swing of it. Nightmare Keen is also a really fun fight. Is this gonna be another line of boss fights? Wait, I can't go up any higher though. I can't go up any higher. And I can't even zoom up there either, so... You have to climb up the wall and use dashes and jumps to reach it. Yeah, uh, not worth it. <laughs> There's nowhere to get a, a grip off of. I'll try my Nightmare Grim a couple more times. Wild to think I didn't even have Shadow Dash in the last time I when I fought Nightmare Grim for the first time. Okay, that didn't last long.
I'll give him a couple more tries. Some of this is still in my muscle memory. It was just unlocking it again. That part, I'm still having trouble remembering how to do. Yeah, that ground dash, because you got to basically pogo off his head, but that's kind of precise to do, even with the super long nail. And yeah, another fight that Quick Slash really doesn't help for, because he just teleports around like a spaz. Alright, so far so good. That attack is hard. No! Oh, I was doing so well! No, I can beat him tonight. I, I was actually close to beating him again. But I, I made one mistake, and then that caused me to make another mistake, and then, yeah. No, I can totally do this. Plus, this fight is actually genuinely really fun. My, my issue is if I make one mistake during this fight, then I generally make a bunch of mistakes, and that causes me to uh, die. So this is a fight you kind of have to do perfectly, but it's not super strict on how to do it perfectly, which is nice. And again, epic music, and a genuinely elegant, wonderful fight. Yes! I love how, like, the brutal bonus boss that everyone it's supposed to be the hardest fight in the game is, like, my favorite fight. 
I also don't think this is the hardest fight in the game. <laughs> I haven't taken damage yet. <laughs> that was close, almost took damage there. Oh no, I was so close. Actually, I still have a quarter of the fight left, so... Oh no! Shoot! I forgot, he deals free damage, not two. That was so close. Hardest fight in the game is probably that stupid double shield guy in the air, but for all the wrong reasons. I think that attack is his toughest one. This is probably that that one's probably the easiest. Actually, okay, well, this attack is the nastiest, especially if you have to jump through the fireball barriers. If there's a fireball on the ground and a fireball in the air and you have to jump between the gaps, that's not fun to deal with. Especially if you have to do that a bunch of times in a row. Still fair, just it's tough for me to do that. I know doing the double jump is risky, but sometimes if I get a bunch of those, like, jump the hurdle ones in a row, it's worth it. This fight kind of reminds me of the Data Org fights from Kingdom Hearts. Ouch. In the good way.
Those are like crazy hard, but also very fair. HP left the way. Wait, is he? Oh, he deals 4 HP worth of damage. I thought he was only dealing 3. Oh, wow. I can't. I'm not paying attention. tiny little legs. And that dealt four hearts of damage, or four masks of damage, I guess. Take another hit now. Ow! Keep running into his tiny little legs. Well, that was dumb. Well, you guys are getting an hour longer stream tonight. Because I, I, I can beat Nightmare King tonight. And then next stream we can focus on the fourth Pantheon. And try to beat that and maybe the last arena battle. And if we can do both of those, maybe we'll finish up next stream. I fell off a cliff and only took two damage. weird. I keep choking. No. No. I can do this. <laughs> this could be a two and a half hour video, but we, we can do it. This is literally the last boss I have to do, or that I can do, in out of the refights. It's too perfect to not end the stream this way. Most people probably would have ended the stream after that annoying shield boss. But no, I hate ending the stream on a foul mode. Okay, well that was just really stupid on my part. Come on! More stuff!
This is definitely the right setup to have, too. Also, I love how the keen soul that I got just doesn't work anymore. It's like, oh, you'll constantly refill your soul, and it totally is not constantly refilling my soul. It's also nice that we don't have to take the Grim Child in this fight. Unlike in the original Nightmare Grim. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow Dash. Make me jump over a lot of things in a row. No, that's not fair. I'm purposefully falling off a cliff again, so that way I'm at low HP and can do more damage. Uh-oh. No! Shadow Dash, you fail me! Actually, I failed myself. Uh, I was so close to no damaging him at one point, and then I just choked hard. Honestly, I keep choking hard. <laughs> it's annoying because, like, I totally know I can do this, and I should be able to do this, but I just keep making dumb mistakes. At least the music never gets old. That attack has been giving me a lot of trouble lately. Darn it. Should have shadow dashed through that. Like, look at that. It made me jump five times in a row. No, I'm not trying to beat Nightmare King Grim without taking damage. The issue is whenever I take damage, it throws off my timing to dodge, and I usually get hit again and again and again, and it kills me. If I could beat Nightmare King Grim with no damage, that would be amazing bra bragging rights, but I'm not going to try. If I were to do that, would it automatically give me the Ascended... Or the Radiant uh, Crest, or to be like, nope, you didn't select Radiant Crest, so you don't get it. If I made the game, I definitely would have given you the Radiant Crest if you had done the requirements for it. 
Stupid little spindly legs, Grim. I'm having such a hard time pogoing on that guy. Oh no. I hate being at 1 HP at this part. at the one hit kill range. Okay, thank you. <sighs> that was a little too close. Okay. Thank you. I can now survive another hit. Thought he was doing a different attack there. Yeah! <laughs> I knew I could do it! Dang, that fight is still really fun. Alright, well, that stream went an hour longer than it normally would. But I truly lost track of the time during that. And, well, I had a goal and I completed it. So, I think all that's left to do in the game is we got the final Pantheon, we got the final Arena, and we can fight Poop Bro a bunch more, I guess, and then fight the final boss again. So, we might finish next week's Monday stream. Potentially. I think it's going to be either Monday or Wednesday of next week that we're going to have the final Hollow Knight stream. And then, as always, 1 p.m. Saturday. Eastern Standard Time, Majora's Mask Randomizer, with custom music requests. It's going to be fun. Thanks for joining in, everybody. I'm glad it was fun streaming this, even if that one boss really sucked. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless, everyone.